Hey guys, good to have you all back on day three of my top five countdown. In case you missed the previous videos, I am doing a top five favorite uh, project of 2022. Yup, and uh, already did two days. So I did uh, number five and number four. So today we're at uh, number three. Uh, don't worry if you missed it. I have a playlist. I will link that below. So at number three, let me tell you what it is. Normally, I would have a lovely prototype on my desk because, you know, it is a project that I've already done. But the prototype for this project has already reached its new owner. So I cannot share the prototype. However, I am going to link the video um, as well below of the original project so that you can sort of uh, compare. And I want to recreate it as much as possible because I really, really loved it. Now, what is it? Let me tell you. The title for the original video is Tag with Window Pocket Tim Holt Style. So that's what we're going to make. I'm going to make a, a large tag with a pocket on it, with a window, and then decorate it in Tim Holt Style. Uh, as I mentioned, I am linking that video below in case you're really curious about it. I am also putting it on screen here. Now there's this sort of black strip that has the text probably says Tag with Window Pocket. If you really want to watch the video, pause this one, click on it. It'll bring you to the video. Now, for the supplies that we are using, I'm using a strip of um, less loved scrapbook paper. I'm probably going to take another piece out because this has the glue on here. See, so I'm going to take another piece out. Um, an envelope with a window on it. This is a new one. Preferably you have one that is used <laughs> because, you know, I'm all about recycling and such. Then for this project, I'm going to use digitals to um, decorate and such. You can use book pages, any sort of paper that you might like. I am going to use mainly digitals. I am going to do some stamping. And for the stamping, I'm using a uh, Tim Holtz set. Probably eccentric because that's my most beloved. And some bits and bobs um, also in the Tim Holtz style or even from the Tim Holtz brand. I'm going to do some uh, inking. I'm using, I, I believe, even three colors. I'm using tea dye, Frey Burlap and Ground Espresso. So light, medium, dark. <laughs> corner rounder, because, you know, of corner rounder. Uh, glue, glue stick and uh, art glitter glue. I'm using a paper trimmer. Um, for some bits and bobs, I am going to make um, tabs on here. I am probably going to use uh, an eyelet. And um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, scissors, you know, the usual. So um, let's get started. Let's start with the tag itself. Um, I have this is a strip of four inches, four by 12, because it's a color from a piece of scrapbook paper and I want my tag to be seven inches already marked it you could have it shorter longer wider whatever size you want but these are my sizes seven inches means uh, it could still fit into um, uh, a journal on a page right do not throw this out because we're going to make uh, the card with this one I will however make this uh, narrower and shorter a tiny bit so this is going to be the tag now what i want to do with this is just decorate it both front and back then we are going to make a pocket on here i'm just going to use the part with the window on it yeah and i'm going to have it one layer so i just want the top layer which means let me see if I can do this. I'm going to do this with a letter opener. I need to open up the whole envelope. There we go. And there's one. And on the other side. There you go. See? That worked. Perfect. Now, I want um, this bit to sort of represent this bit. Yeah? So have an equal amount here and there. I'm going to cut off this big piece first. Am I? No. I'm going to do it a little bit different than the original video. What I'm going to do is I am going to make this smaller. So I'm cutting off this whole flap. And the piece that is left is almost the same piece as this one. Doesn't need to be exact, but you know, 
sort of, sort of, try to, if you can. Perfect. Now, I am not cutting here. I'm cutting a little bit further. Not a lot, like half an inch. Let's say half an inch. And let me tell you why I'm doing this. With the previous video, what I did, I just cut it to size. And then the entrance of the pocket was very flimsy. So I had to reinforce it um, with washi tape. I'm not going to reinforce this with washi tape. No, I'm going to reinforce it with itself. Also need to make it shorter. I'm not doing any real measuring. I'm just, you know, eyeballing it, trying to figure it out. So this is my tag. This is going to be the window. Now I'm going to glue this in to make some sort of reinforced piece so that you can have your card in uh, safer. Let's say safer. I am, however, going to mitre this just in case any of the white will sort of want to peek out. Yep. Speaking of white, it is completely white. Bluing this uh, down, guys. And this is just for uh, reinforcing. If you do this, don't have a big piece that goes over the window, right? Just a small piece. You just need a strip. You just need a strip. There you go. So this is going to be the opening for my pocket. I'm going to glue it on here later on, on three sides. See? Yeah. But it's white and we need to have it in a different color and decorate it. You can do that in a couple of ways. In this, ca in this case, I'm going to ink it, stamp it, de decorate it. You could also put other pieces of paper on if you want to. But I'm going to ink it. Now I'm going to sort of stray from the original video. What I did with the original video, I just took out a piece of um, cardstock and put it over here and then inked it. But it did leave for some harsh lines. And I want to try to avoid it. So what I it, it will work, guys. This will work. Just put a piece here. I'm going to ink all over it. Um, but I did not want the acetate to uh, get ink on. That is why I just covered bits. What I did now, took a little measuring, but it worked. I made a sort of a template. See? That goes in here. What I did, I just measured this bit and this bit. And then rounded the corners with this. So... It almost fits perfectly. I think this will help. <laughs> but I do not know for sure. I think it will help. So I have this template in here. Be sure that it fits. Yep. And then I'm going to ink with the lightest color. Tea dye. You could use your dauber with this. Like something like this. But I have these. Go on. I have these makeup brushes. Yes. Cheap ones. These were real makeup brushes at one point. And then I'm just going to slightly um, draw circles. Yes, in a circular motion. Don't press too hard, just in a circular motion. I just want a little bit of color on here. It doesn't need to be even. Hmm? Just, you know, as long as the white is covered. I'm going to maneuver it about a little bit because you know this part is done don't press too hard guys otherwise you'll have lots of dark spots well maybe you want dark spots then press really hard there you go and the last bit See, you learn from your projects. From there, there weren't really mistakes, but I was like, how can we do that part better? Because now there's no harsh lines. And on the previous um, video, there were some harsh lines. They did disappear because I stamped all over it. Fantastic template. I have this um, pile of envelopes that I use all the time. And I'm going to put the template on it. <laughs> It just needs to stay there. There you go. So I'm going to use it a, a lot of times. See? There. Now, it's not white anymore. We like that it's not white anymore. But I also want... Oh, no, I need... I need temp I still need a template. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I want to stamp all over it. Last time I used the stamp set Exquisite from Tim Holtz. Was the Halloween or the Halloween one, but I now have ledger script, so I want to use ledger script. And I just want to do this. 
And for this, I am using the middle uh, color called a Freight Burlap, my absolute favorite. Well, for this year, I'm thinking about doing a favorite uh, craft supplies video as well. What do you guys think? Shall I do it? Uh, I'm going to start here. It's just some background stamping, guys, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Although it really is. It already is perfect. It's so cool. Don't move. Stay here. And then for the last piece. Yes, because I tried out a lot of new stuff this year. And um, I think I want to tell you what worked, what didn't work. What I recommend. Or maybe what I have a perfect... It's called dupe. Yes, a duplicate. Like if you want, don't want to buy this, you could maybe buy that. There you go. Fantastic. I am going to do a little more decorating, but after I put it on the big pocket. So, um, a big pocket, big tag. Now, let's focus on this big tag. To decorate the tag, I'm going to use digitals. You don't have to use digitals. You can use book pages or any uh, other sort of paper that you want. However, I will not recommend using uh, like scrapbook paper. Because we need to decorate the front and the back. And this is also really sort of cardstocky. Then you would have like very heavy thick sort of tag. That could work. Uh, unless you want to use the corner rounder. It won't work anymore. So I'm just going to dec uh, decorate it. Cover it both front and back with paper that are similar to copy paper. So 90 grams at the most. <clears throat> On the previous project I've used my digitals. On this project I'm going to use my digitals <laughs> i am sorry guys i just i just want to um, uh, use up all my scraps from uh, my my digital sets and it, it works really well with the theme so um and i also have lots of freebies in this sort of category so probably you have some um if you want to use something different i also want to see if i can use some of these these are by vintage by me Honestly, every kit from this designer is fantastic. It is on Etsy. It is vintage by me, just in one sentence. Also, um, with one of the designs, I made stickers. This is a full sticker sheet. You can, well, see? There are stickers. They're like one and a half inch by uh, two and a half or something like this. I just printed on it. Put it in my printer and then you can take stuff off and it is a sticker so maybe i want to use some of this but let's just start let's start gluing using glue stick for this just taking out the first bit yeah i'm very curious how many of you did see that video i think most of you will uh, because it's a very popular one it has a lot of views and on instagram it was very popular I found that the projects that I make that have a lot of views on YouTube don't necessarily create a lot of uh, views on Instagram. It's somehow different. Don't know why. Don't know why. Sort of the same color. I want a different, different color. Let's do a piece of this because we love this. We absolutely do. Um... I am not going to use scissors. I am just going to use a ruler. Not a tearing ruler. I want the pieces to be straight. But not like straight straight. If you know what I mean. Is this long enough? It is. Uh, I will also be using. I'm going to flip it now. Some washi tapes. For decorating. For now I'm just making a collage. Because, uh, well, that what, what are you doing? That's so crooked. Oh, I need to move it up. I think of all the projects that I'm doing, the collaging bit is absolutely my favorite. I'm not going to use the lovely ladies, however lovely they are. Because that will be a focal point and I want something else to be a focal point. Are we going to put it here? Oh, we are. We are. I want um, a Tim Holtz um, doll. It's called Paper Dolls, yeah. 
to be the focal point. Now we can use this uh, to do, yeah, there was a hole there. So I'm just gonna remove that. Have this here. How tall, love? I like to alternate the colors. It's just something I like to do. I could have flipped them over because we're also going to do the, the other side. But I didn't. Again, I didn't. Um, do you want some of this? With the green stuff on here? No. No. No, I don't. Oh, I want this. Absolutely. Yes. Want to flip it over? Let's flip one piece over. Let's just do... <laughs> Let's do what I intended to do. Uh, that was to flip stuff over. Why? Because I think that leaves for a nicer finish somehow. So I'm, I'm actually sort of... Oh, that's upside down, love. Um... Yes, why didn't I do that? Why, why, why? It was my plan. I did I did watch the video again this morning, guys. I did. I knew I was I was wanting to do this because I loved it, but I was like, how what did I do? And also, what did I do wrong? What do I want to improve on? Lovely? Yes. We're gonna do the other side. There's not enough on here. I want some writing. I use that one on the front. That is too blue. Oh, yes. Are you going to do this? Uh, no, just the top part. Really? No, I'm going to put a little bit of this on here. Why not? Why not? It's on here. It's cute. It's lovely. And I need to have a strip of something else here or there. I'm going to do a strip of something else here. There you go. Uh, no. <laughs> There's one. I'm going to use this bit. Like so. Well, I'm going to rip it smaller. See, I'm, all, I'm almost covering this. I do not want to cover that. No. I'm just going to glue it on and trim it later. Oopsies. Stuck. Yep, then we have a piece of this. Yep, I'm gonna put that there. Because why not? Now I'm gonna put it more down here because they, those are sort of the same color. And I want to have a different color on here. And then, what else? What else? Well, you didn't even touch. Um, oh, this is, this is real ledger. Are you going to put on real ledger? Well, apparently I am. I do want to use more ledger um, next year because I have loads. And also have um, some questions from people asking. I have ledger now. I love it. Uh, but I want to make something really pretty with it. What can I do with it? Well, you can do lots with it. The problem is you can only use it once. And it is, of course, an, an expensive piece of paper, let's be honest. There you go. Now, the paper underneath is a green. Really, is it green? We haven't noticed. <laughs> um, so when I put washi on, the green will show through a little bit. So I am going to oh, cover it with something. I'm gonna do this. Yes. 
because it was there. So why not use it? Fantastic. I will do some more decorating with uh, washi tape and such. And need to ink all around it. But first I want to let it dry. Underneath a big pile of books so that it will flatten out because it's curling up a little bit. It's dry. I inked it. Also inked the pockets. Yeah. Um, at first I trimmed all around it so it was uh, straight everywhere. Now I need to decide do I want this to be a sort of the front or this. Now I truly love this and did, this looks amazing but I also want to add um, a focal point on here. And I think that works better with a more neutralish background. See? <clears throat> so I want to have this on here. I have some bits and bobs from my own uh, kit that I thought would my, not look nice. Like something like so. And um, maybe something more blue underneath. Or are we going to put it on top somewhere? No. I don't know. Oh, maybe here. Oh, yeah. That looks nice, does it? It's in a straight line with this one now. Do you want to flip this over? Yes. <laughs> Making it up as we go, guys. Let's flip stuff over. That's why we made this. That does mean I need to ink uh, parts of it again, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, why not? Why not? Do you want to do uh, more flipping over? Like over here? Yes. Yes. There you go. I have one more left, but I also want to do um, some stamping. Now I'm going to have this one here. Have it straight, lovey. That looks straight. That looks straight. So before I do any more stamping and decorating, I'm going to glue this on. Right, are you? Do you want something here? I think I do. What? Oh, the washi tapes. The washi tapes. Um, have not used this yet. This is Tim Hall's ideology design tape. Uh, trims, I don't know. There are some lovely ones in here and some that I probably won't use. I mean, I probably won't use these. Don't think so. But the numbers. Oh, the numbers. I'm going to have a strip of numbers on here. There's a lot on here, actually. Uh, let's find the beginning. Woo. Already love it a lot. It's not even on here. Ooh, thank you very much, Mr. Tim Holtz. That is very nice. I'm going to place another one here. And these are... Um, are these quarter of an inch or one eighth of an inch? Or something like this. So uh, they're very nice to have on spines. Or so Mr. Tim Holtz told me. I'm not going to do the green. I'm going to do something like this with letters on it. I'm going to put it on the strip. There you go. Now, how does this look? Well, it looks amazing. Amazing. You want something here? I want something there. Ooh. Collect. Uh, I recognize this from uh, Stamp Set, the Field Notes Set Collect. And also, I believe this is in a paper pad memorandum. Shall we sort of cry about that? Um, I am very happy I bought it. Uh, but he no longer makes the paper packs and they're not, um, well, they're not made anymore. You can get them. If I had known that, I would have bought like four or five. If you know of any place... That still sells them. 
within Europe because, you know, shipping costs and such. Please let me know. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to glue this um, pocket on, on three sides, using glue stick. No, gl not glue stick. What's this called, love? What is it? It's called art. Not this bit. I'm trying to leave a lot of room in the pocket for the card that we're also making. You're also making a card, yep. There you go. Have it straight. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes! And we're going to do more decorating. So I want to do some stamping and a paper doll. I'm going to pick out the paper doll first. Um, you know, I have uh, lots of them. Shall we do Frank? Mm, I don't know. What else do we have? Ooh, Lois. Shall we do Lois? <laughs> I'm just naming them, guys. There's, not, there's no name on the back. I'm just named her Lois. I'm going to do Lois. Yeah. She has pretty eyes. Can you see? I think in real life she had very light eyes, like bluish or greenish. Not my brown eyes. Do you have brown eyes? Yes, I have very, very dark brown eyes. Yeah. Um, hello, Lois. Welcome to my um, project. Uh, also, what I did in the previous one, I used this. This is Ephemera Packer Snippets Ideology, whatever it is from last year, I believe. No, 2021. Yeah. Um, these are all very small bits and bobs. And they're lovely. I'm just taking out um, a couple of them for decorating. But I also want to show you something. Now, I'm not telling you don't buy this because I love it and it is affordable. So buy it if you can find it. But if not, if you're like... I cannot find this anywhere and I do really like all these small sort of snippets, bits, whatever. Let me show you. I'm just taking out uh, some pieces of, um, well, this is my digitals, but I'm also taking out uh, from Vintage by Me. You can, for instance, just cut this out and have this as, I'm, I'm just going to do it. I just have this. As your own sort of small snippet. Uh, because honestly. It would blend in in this set. So make your own snippets. That sounds like a video. Making your own bits and bobs um, pack. See? So if I do this. It just it blends in. I'm going to zoom you in. See? It's, it's supposed to be there. Uh, do this. Do just this. A number. This can be a larger piece. It's... Or this. Oh, don't you just love this? And it's not just my digitals. Have this as a, a piece. Or or just, you know, this piece. Whatever you want. Make your own snippets. But, you know, I bought these. So I'm going to use um, these. What do I want? I want something behind her head. That says this that is nice and with the other one i did something on the bottom i'm just gonna do the same it says something paris yeah yeah i'm going to ink it oh i'm thinking about making own making snippets that'll be a fantastic video i promise you that'll be a fantastic one um well for me it will because a i'm gonna have fun making snippets and b i would have snippets <laughs> yes win-win situation i would uh if you're gonna do this this is sort of um almost it's heavier copy paper i think it will be like 100 grams or something so if you're gonna do that i would prefer to do it with um paper that is a little bit heavier now this is a pocket, yes, so I want to have stuff in. I am going to glue this on only on the part that hits the pocket underneath. So not here, because then you won't be able to shut it anymore. Oh, I refilled. I was like, 
That's a lot of glue. Yes, I refilled it yesterday. Here's one. Here's the other one. Oh, I do love this glue. Is this in in uh, well yeah that I can that could work. Is this in your uh, top five um, best supplies you bought this year? Well, definitely, probably at number one. No, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I don't have to limit myself to uh, to five. Yeah, I can make it top ten, or well, at least. Lois, there you go, Lois. Oh, I love her bag. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes, I want to do some stamping. There's a, a couple of blue parts on here, which make me sort of uh, wanting to try stamping some in blue. Yes, I will. I will stamp some in blue. Using eccentric by Mr. Tim Holtz. The five kept falling out. Uh, absolutely my favorite stamp set uh, that I bought this year. And I bought a couple. And I already uh, figured out what I want to wear just to save on time. I want to have this big four and a half on the label. I'm using Paris Dusk by Memento. It's like a dewdrop. Love it, love it. Then I'm using this letter parcel number something something. I'm just um, using some blank spaces. Yeah. I thought this could do with another number. And um, this one, identification card stop. Oh, the blue works really well on here. That's upside down, lovey. It's going to be stamped across other letters, but that's okay. It doesn't even matter. And, and my favorite. <laughs> Oh, I do keep sort of laughing when I say my favorite because I bought the set. And I don't know if you remember that video. I was like, what are you going to do with the stars? Well, you're going to do this for one. <laughs> and uh, here, I love this one. It's, it just adds a little extra. Simple, but, you know, elegant. Fantastic. I think it's done. Yes, um, I also want to do some on the back, but I want to let the, the ink dry. So in the meantime, we're going to make the card that goes inside. Now for the card, it's going to be a journal card that fits inside. Guys, I already cut it to size. I did use the other piece of paper that was left and then I was cutting it and cutting it and it was crooked and whatever I did, it was crooked. So I took out another piece of scrapbook paper and it fits in here. See, I left a lot of room so it won't get stuck on anything. So I am going to decorate this. I want this to be a journal card. So on the back, I want to have writing paper. For that, I am using a piece of paper from my sketch pad. That's almost the exact size. Um, and of course, um, some scraps from the, from the kit. I want to use stickers. Well, one of them at least. Just do something nice. But first, let's do the back. So with the other project, I uh, stamped on the back. I don't think I want to do that on this one. Uh, maybe I'm just going to put a label on or something like it. Sticking out. No, it's fine. Oopsies. Um, I'm just going to use my paper trimmer. To cut this straight. Here's one. Well, I'm gonna ink it, so that's fine. So this is the piece that we can journal on. I will round the corners. Oops. Once we're finished, 
but for now i just want to do some simple collaging on the back i have this piece of um ledger left i have some orange stuff yeah want to have a piece on here Yep, um, glue page. I don't think I want to have like a real focal focal point on here. Just a little bit of collaging. Shall we do a piece of this? shell mm, what is this oh it's cute that's what it is i'm gonna just gonna put it on Please come off, thank you. Scooch it up a tiny bit. Now what we need to do is put it in the pocket and see what part of the card we will see uh, coming through the window, yeah? And I need to decorate it then on the parts that are showing so I'm just gonna put it in like so I'm very happy to have the sort of glycerin on here oh it's not dry yet love no worries so I want to have something here something there like what oh yeah I was gonna use sticker I'm gonna use a part of the sticker I'm gonna cut it while it is on the paper because then I have it straight I'm gonna have it like so over here there you go oh I made my own snippet I'm gonna put my own snippet on am I yes yes There you go. Do we want some tape? We want some tape. I want some here on the edge. There's also going to be a tab here. And then um, some there. Just one more tiny bit. It's upside down. That's okay. Fantastic. What are we going to do on the back? Well, actually, we're not going to do a lot on the back. No. No. Not a thing. Now, before I put the, lay the tap on, I am going to round the corners just to check... If I like it, I'm going to use the, the medium setting, which is seven millimeters. Yes, and then I'm going to ink it. I'm going to use a darker ink. This is ground espresso. Oh, it looks, it looks different already. Oh, so I'm going to do that on the back. Maybe I'll put a stamp on there. I don't know yet. Don't know yet. But first, let's focus on the on the tab. I want to make two tabs. One on this pocket to pull it out. Well, on this card to put it out of the pocket. And then one on the top. 
I have this cute tin um, with all the tabs that I've made from various pieces of paper. And for these ones, I mostly used um, this. This is from We Are Memory Keepers. And some with a whale tail tab set uh, that I use all the time. So I was going through them. I was like, oh, I actually like nothing. And it was standing on this. And I, will, I really want to have something with this paper but these are stickers so you can't do anything with them so what i did i tried it guys i took off a sticker yes and i glued it on a piece of paper cut it out folded it in and then made and made tap with it which is fantastic right so i'm, I'm just going to show you how i did this i'm going to take out a random oh let's do one on the bottom a random piece just the sticker and i'm putting it on here it has it actually has a an exact size for um, this tap punch thingy. There you go. There's still a piece of the paper stuck here. Yes, because I already made one. So if you have this punch, most people just, you know, take a piece of paper, put it in, punch it out. That's not how I do it because I want my tabs to look like this. For that, this is the trick. You probably know this, but maybe you don't, maybe you don't. Uh, take out a, a strip of paper, fold it in, fold it in half. Like so. Then you look at the other side of your tab. Put a piece of paper in with the opening on the bottom. Yeah, the opening needs to be on the bottom. That is very important. Yep. Then you put it in. Now, when you snip it, you need to leave, leave the tiniest piece. Can you see? Just the tiniest piece left here. So you will not cut the top open. Does it make any sense? So it needs to leave a little bit of room on the top. And then you snip it. See, in that case, you can fold it open. You have the double tap. I prefer that um, to the single ones. Do I have any single ones here? Oh, the single letters. I don't even... Oh, yeah, I have one here. Look, the multi one. It's just a, a single one. Um, so, yeah. Let me show you again. I did also did this one. I really love this one, I guess. Be sure the sticker is really stuck on here. Folding it in. There you go. Taking out this piece of paper. Oops. I'm working with a very small strip. You can also use a bigger strip um, just to have it in a little bit better than what I'm doing now. Again, I'm leaving the tiny. See, you can see the strip? Yes. I'm leaving this. There you go. There you go. I made lots now. I'm going to use this one and this one. I guess. Uh, on what? Well, on your project. Where is it? Somewhere. Oh, it was underneath. And now for the card. No clue. I'll find it. It's somewhere here. Let's start with this one. I want to have this one on the top over here. I am going to ink it. Isn't it lovely? Yeah, I really like it. I was going to put an eyelet in. Maybe I will, but I don't know, do not know for sure. Um, using art for this. I will have it in the middle. 1908. Well, she looks 1908-ish. Doesn't she? Sometimes I, I can't even date it. There you go. Oh, the cart's, in, the cart's inside. Oh, sometimes. Sometimes, guys, you are probably all screaming, uh, excuse me, it's inside, love. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I was looking for it. There you go. So I'm going to have that over here. And I will have it in the middle. Are you? Let's see. Do I have it a little bit more? No, I'm going to move it up a tiny bit. So not in the middle, just a little bit more on top. 
Why? No, no particular reason other than I think I like it better. Let's see. Yes, perfect. Perfect. Do we want an eyelet? Don't know. It's a yes to the eyelet. What I also did, guys, was stamp a little bit on here. Just to have it, you know, this be not the only pieces on here. And um, I want something here. And I think for that I am going to use another piece of the washi. Because I have that and I love it. And I just need to use it. Alright? Yeah. What you gonna use? Yeah. The collect one. Let's do the collect one. I'm just going to put a piece on, on this edge because there's a little bit of white showing. Just the tiniest bit and it just looks so much better all at once. Love this tape. Love this tape. It is Trim's Garniture from 2022. Um, it's 12 rolls in here and it is uh, 4 yards on a roll, uh, which is three, um, 3 meters and 66 centimeters. So basically a lot. And I paid 11 for it. So it's, it's not even 1 euro for a tape. So it's good value. I think it's good value. So yeah. Um, eyelets. Do we have blue ones? I think we do. I think we have. I think I want to do something more with blue. Does that look nice? Yes. Yes. I decided, yes. Do I have another one? I really need another one. Not purple, blue. Well, my husband will call this purple. But he's a tiny bit colorblind. He said, no, the, the purple ones. Those are blue, love. <laughs> uh, so it's an in inside joke. The color blue for us is an inside joke. Shall I tell you? Yeah, sure. We, we just sort of moved in together and he woke, my husband talks in his sleep and um, he sort of woke me up in the middle of the night because he said, um, translated, but then in blue, <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? And he was, he was fast asleep. So I woke him up because it was the first time I, I heard him talking in his sleep. Now I'm very used to it. I must say, um, what did you mean? But then in blue. I don't know. But later on, in all sorts of situations, he kept saying, but then in blue, when we picked out a new kitchen. Do you like this one? Yes, he said, but then in blue. And that's the sort of thing with, that we do all the time. So, But then in blue is sort of our own personal joke. And sometimes it's really, really funny. There you go. But then, in blue. And blue is not sort of uh, our favorite color or anything. Well, I use it a lot lately. Blue and red. Um, well, my husband wears a lot of blue because that's a very good color on him. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Yes, you could put something in like a dangle or a woolly bit or, or what have you. I am not gonna. I'm just gonna leave it like so. Am I gonna round corners? Yes. I am. I think I want even want a bigger setting. I'm going to do the bigger setting. There you go. I need to ink the corners a little bit more. Here, here and here. And on the back. Oh, do you want to do some more on the back? Like what? Like a stamp. Uh, I have these blue sort of self-inking office stamps that would look amazing on here. <laughs> yes, see? Like so. I have another one. Well, I have loads actually. I want to do it over here. And, uh, and yet another one. Where? here fantastic just adding a little bit more blue i 
I love these stamps. I love them so much. Well, there you go. That's it. Guys, uh, let's check the end result. Yep, here it is. Title says, tag with window pocket, Tim Holt style. And that's exactly it. It looks completely different than the one that I've made before. But it is the same style, the same uh, principle. Um, before I watched my own video this morning to see what what did I do exactly I was totally going to do this in another style like botanical or bunnies or what have you uh, and then I watched the video and I decided no this needs to be in a Tim Holtz style because it just works best in my opinion so a lovely large tag with a tab on it and we made a um, like a journal card in here that you can put in like so. Also decorated the back with Lois on the front. Now, how would you use this in a journal? You can use it a couple of different ways. Because, um, because I decorated the back, I would not put it on a glue it on a page and have it as a pocket. You could, yeah, glue it on on three sides and have it as a pocket. I would, I think, hinge it. So what I would do, put it all the way to the edge like so, and then put washi tape, half of it on the uh, tag and have, have it on a page also um, I would use this because it's blue and has all sorts of uh, images on here that would go really well this is from the reminiscence set from Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, I love it <laughs> love it so much I have two sets yes and then you can flip it open and journal over here and then do some more decorating whatever you wish so, guys, I hope you liked it. I've used um, my own digital kit. This is Ephemera Blue. I will link that one below. Uh, you probably already have it. If not, there's also a, f a freebie um, attached to this one, uh, which is really, really lovely. I think the freebie is the nicest one of the whole set. Nicest page of all. So, go check it out. It's both linked below. And then some uh, Tim Holtz bits and bobs, of course. I'll be back again tomorrow with number two on my list of favorite projects for this year. I have seen a couple of you uh, put out their favorite list of the top five. And I was really surprised in some of the list I kept seeing Rolodex ABC. That surprises me because those videos that I make are um, not very popular. They are not viewed a lot not a lot of comments not a lot of likes so i'm confused but hey uh, apparently uh, a lot of you really really like them so hopefully you'll join me again tomorrow for number two i'm sure you all know what's going to be on number one but number two might be a surprise hope to catch you tomorrow bye guys <laughs>